Welcome back everybody. I've got some really cool small parts for you SIG fans out there from Align Tactical in the way of a magazine release and a super extended takedown lever right there to help you control that recoil. So if you are into this SIG thing, this is going to be right up your alley because it's going to give you that little bit of an edge that you may or may not be looking for. And it is a direct factory replacement that takes like under a minute to put in. Now being that these are smaller parts, it's going to be a much more compact video today. But I was using these parts out there in my recent videos comparing the SIG P320X series to like the DR920 from Shadow Systems and soon the PDP. That video will be coming out very soon. So if you're interested in those, you can check those out on the playlist down below. And for those of you that may be wondering why would you do something like this? Why would you have like an extended takedown lever? One, absolute recoil mitigation. And two, you don't even have to break your grip really with that extended magazine release because of how they have designed it because it's quite a bit different at a different angle than the factory one. Basically, makes you faster, helps you control recoil. So let's go ahead and take a really good up close look at these one by one, starting off with that new takedown lever. This takedown lever from Align Tactical just gives you more surface area. And I know there are other versions of this out there already, but this one is just a little bit different. As you can see, this is a nice solid angular extension on that takedown lever that's gonna be a very natural place that you would put your thumb anyways and give you a lot of surface area and texture to control that recoil impulse. The thing literally looks like a brake pedal and it legitimately acts like a brake pedal as well because you can really mash on this thing like brakes on an icy road and help control that recoil impulse on the SIG series. I'll go ahead and roll in some quick range footage here where you can see I'm running build drills, some transition drills, and you can see how adding this just helped me keep that muzzle just a little bit more flat than I normally would be able to because it's giving all that additional downforce with your thumb. Now on a side note, talking about muzzle rise recoil management, the SIG is what's known as a high bore axis here. And the reason for that is the bore or the line of that barrel is a little bit higher than some other pistols out there. And people will tell you that they're hard to control because of that weight and how it's gonna reciprocate that muzzle rise, muzzle flip, all of those things. And I used to buy into that as well until I bought things like the 320X series, the Walther PDP, and I really started to put that theory to the test and found out that it's largely a myth and is completely controllable by how you grip the pistol and just getting used to the difference in the feeling of recoil because it will feel different than say a Glock. In all reality, that's gonna come down to the end user because I can run that SIG X series and that Walther PDP just as fast as anything out there. So if you're one of the high bore axis believer, yes, there is some science, weight distribution and how it's reciprocating, but it's largely easily controlled with the appropriate grip and use. The smaller details on that Align takedown lever are gonna be obviously that nice angle that your thumb is gonna to wanna to rest at, but you're gonna have linear serrations both on the brake pedal side of that or just the flat edge where your thumb would rest and also along the part that's going to meet the receiver or the module there. That's just gonna give you a little bit of added texture. Now what this is gonna allow you to do is really press that thumb forward and down on that to control that recoil. When it comes to what this is made out of, it is machined from S7 tool steel and then black oxide coated. I know, S7 tool steel for that takedown lever, maybe a little bit overkill or maybe not, I don't know, but S7 tool steel is some crazy hard metal. Basically, with that being a machined S7 tool steel part, you're pretty much gonna need a hammer to break it. The one holdback is for my lefties though, we got no love for you on this one. It is for righties only. I'm sure at some point someone's gonna figure out like a set screw design for you lefties to have it on the offside, but just based on the design of the SIG, it's a right-handed thing only at this time until somebody takes it to the next level and figures it out for you lefties. And moving on to that mag release. So the SIG grip module may be a little bit big, especially if you don't have like gorilla hands. And some people really have to break their grip, you know, when they're coming to do a magazine exchange like that. Well, the Align Tactical magazine release not only moves it up, but it moves it slightly kind of forward-ish right there so you can have a little bit more area just based on the angle of the grip itself. Well, what that does for people like me or even people with kind of like, you know, make medium to large size hands, I don't even have to break my grip to activate that magazine release. So that's pretty slick because then you don't have to reestablish your master grip. So you're gonna be able to get back on target and get faster follow-up shots. And it's just nice not to have to like flip this thing over, especially people with smaller hands, really have to break that master grip. This is gonna alleviate a lot of that, give you a little bit of an advantage out there and just overall make you faster. And it's quite a bit more comfortable than trying to search for that factory uh, magazine release. And I know that may sound minimal, but for my competition or my tactical guys out there, 
any advantage you can get to be faster, more proficient, anything you can add that doesn't impair function or anything like that, get speed, get an advantage, you are going to go for that. And this is where both of these parts really shine. And I know somebody's gonna ask, does it interfere with your grip or do you accidentally activate that magazine release? And no, because what I found out there was it kind of rests up in this area, more of like the web area rather than where you know your palm meets your thumb right in there. So even grabbing this as hard as I can, pressing as hard as I can, it's not going to activate that because it's been moved up higher and slightly forward just due to the angle of the grip module. So I know somebody was gonna think about that and that was my first thought too because sometimes extended controls can cause you to accidentally activate them. Well, that has not been the case. I've got pretty good sized hands. So I think most of you are gonna be good to go when it comes to an extended magazine, at least one styled like this because if it were in the factory position, I think I would probably be activating it on accident as well. And again, these are made out of that S7 tool steel and black oxide coated. Getting down to brass tacks, what are these gonna cost? That takedown lever is gonna be 55 bucks and the mag release is going to be $38, at least as of the filming of this video. I know some people may be taken back by that a little bit, but let's remember these are machined S7 tool steel parts not plastic injection molded like Glock mag releases or something. So you're not gonna get them for the $10 make you holler price point. You'd get some plastic parts for it. These are much more in depth than doing a plastic mold, being that they're made out of tool steel and that they have to be fully machined. So bear that in mind when you're thinking about that price. Well, what about holsters? Very good question, I'm glad you asked. So obviously adding this extension could add some issues as well as the mag release right there. Right now on Align Tactical's website, you can check them out. There's like over a dozen companies making holsters to specifically fit with these parts. And then the Safari Land 6000 or 63, uh, 6300 series um, holsters, retention ALS or RDS holsters do work with these as well. I've tested in mine. So you're gonna be good to go there. As far as the 7TS or the 7000 series, I don't have one for the SIG, so I don't know if it's gonna work with that just yet. I know those aren't for everybody, but if you are down with the Cygnus, go ahead and check Align Tactical out and give them some love. And that's what I've got for you all today. I'm really curious, do you like these shorter videos kind of with these smaller parts rather than big videos that I'm trying to go over a bunch of stuff at one time? Let me know in the comments. And of course, let me know what you think about those small parts from Align Tactical. Make sure you get subbed up. If you wanna support the channel in any way, you can check out any of those affiliate links down below or over at the webpage. Check the Patreon out, any of that good stuff. I appreciate it because it keeps the channel going. Get out there and enjoy some range time. Take your best friend or your significant other and go have some fun out there. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I will see you all on the next one.